Hey guys, Lisa Lori here, and I'm back with another video. I don't know if you can see this blanket next to me, but now you can see it. That's kind of, this is kind of what my story time today is going to be about. It, well, this relates to my story, anyways. So, about a year before I was born, my mom was pregnant with a little boy, and, but at five months, she miscarried. Um, anyways, so I have a big brother in heaven. His name is Christopher Frederick. And I didn't actually know about him when I was really little. I learned about him when I was about, oh, probably 12. I was a really nosy kid. And I loved, like, plant. But also, I loved playing dress up in my mom's closet. So I would go in her closet, like, try on her clothes and her shoes and stuff. And I was about 12 years old, and I was in the closet. <clears throat> and there was a shelf in the closet, and I saw a little jar with, um labeled holy water and then it said Christopher Frederick on it and it had a month and a day and year and stuff and it was dated 1990, 1998. Um, so I took the jar to my mom and asked her what is this because obviously I didn't know anything about it. It was from because my parents they they baptized him after um, <laughs> after the miscarriage because obviously at five months it looks like a, it looks like a very underdeveloped baby. So they baptized him, and they saved my mom saved the holy water from his baptism in a jar. Um, I don't know. Oh wait, no, she still has it. But the water I think is like kind of dried up at this point now. I don't know. Maybe she used the the oil, the water or something. I don't know. And anyways, so. At that point, I didn't really know what to do with that information. I mean, I was sad, kind of. Uh, about a year later, when I was 13, I wrote my brother a song. I call him Bubba. That's my name for him. Sometimes I talk to him. Um, and that's and this was his blanket from when he was. It was supposed to be his blanket from when he was a baby. Um, I call it Bubba's Bubba too because it was supposed to be his blanket, and I call him Bubba, so I called it his blanket Bubba too. And, um, so then I used to sleep with it for a while. It made me feel close to him. Um, and so, so yeah, so it's, like I said, I wrote him a song. It's called Your Little Sister, and it's basically kind of like a, kind of like a song letter to him. Um, I also wrote him a poem recently, probably about a year or two ago. I'm going to read the poem. It's gone from our life, gone from the earth, but from our hearts you will never depart. <clears throat> So that's the poem I wrote for him. Um, there's not really much I can say because I don't, like I said, I wasn't even born yet. But that's kind of my story. Maybe I'll sing a little bit of the song, actually. Like I said, the song's called Your Little Sister. <coughs> so, just gonna use that to clear my throat. Even though we've never met, we're not that far apart. You'll always be my brother, and you'll be in my heart. Not a moment goes by when I don't think of you. Just remember, your little sister says hi. And I hope you watch over me every day of my life. One thing I know is, I'll see you in heaven. And I want you to remember, your little sister says hi. So that's just the first two verses in the chorus. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, thanks for watching.